Hey guys, how's it going? Azure Collections here, and today we're looking at a comparison between the authentic uh, BVS Armored Batman versus the MSKO ones from AliExpress. So just a quick intro, the one on the right here is the KO but without the mods. The one on the left is with the mods. Obviously I've painted the chest, which looks a lot better than just the uh, average normal one. And in the middle we've got the authentic Batman versus Superman Armored Batman. So in this video we're just going to take a look at what the differences are, how they compare to each other, and which one should you get, and if the KO ones are worth it or not. So uh, for this video, I'm just going to uh, say it up front that we're not going to use this guy as a comparison because uh, this is modded. So this is not what you expect when you get the KO version out of the box. It will be this guy. So we'll just use this guy for the comparison. But uh, just a tip for you guys. Uh, what I did here is use silver paint uh, and just dry brushed it all over the suit, uh, which makes it look more consistent with the rest of the body rather than, you know, having that kind of black uh armor going on so all right so let's jump into the video initial thoughts uh, you can clearly see which one's the fake which one's not uh so that one here is the fake you can obviously tell because of the very black chest plate um this one is more of a gray uh kind of color and also the patchy paintwork on the rest of the body is a telltale sign as well so yeah that's how you can easily tell if it's a key or not the head sculpt does look a little bit more smooshed on this guy uh, whereas on the guy on the left, it just looks so much more pristine. The lips are more visible, uh, more distinct. The face itself is more, I guess, uh, well well made. So uh, that's that's uh, the other thing that really stands out. Uh, if you look at the suit of this guy here, it's much more like discolored. Uh, this is more uniform, but you can still see the raised bits. Whereas this one has like a very contrast kind of dark gray, light gray going on. Uh, the body, the shoulders are narrower, this one's wider, uh, the feet and the legs look more bulky on this one, more appropriate. Uh, the body looks more fitting, so the armor piece is barely keeping Batman in, whereas this one, you can see that there's obviously a little bit of slack going on. So there's a lot of different things that you can uh, see here that, that kind of tell you which one's fake, which one's not. Uh, the cape, I think the cape is pretty identical uh, other than the jaggedy bit at the bottom uh, but yeah I, I don't really like the cape on the authentic one either so let's take a closer look at the face so here we have the two Batman so as you can see on the right it just looks a little bit off like the the horns on the Batman do look a little bit more inconsistent they look dipped in the face sculpts are very identical, but, you know, the paint is different still. Uh, the neck piece is so much better on this guy, whereas on this guy, you can you can see the shirt or the inner suit underneath. Uh, the shoulder pads, yeah, there's a plenty, of, plenty of differences there. Uh, the color on this one is so much darker, whereas this one's so much more movie accurate, I'd say and uh the elbow hinge looks more defined on the left one on the left it just looks more usable more sturdy the one on the right kind of looks like a looks like it has grease on it if you know what i mean uh the chest plates obviously they've got the same kind of scratches on them uh but this one isn't painted so yeah the reason i got the third uh armored bvs batman is so i can match the paint on this guy but then I found uh, not a good deal, but I really found I really wanted the authentic version, so I had to go buy him. So yeah, I found it on Facebook. So I did end up buying him. The knee pads on this guy look more sunken in because of the paint, I think. Whereas the knee pad here, just you know, it, it's more prominent. It's there, and obviously the the figure on the right has quality control issues as well. So that is not what's supposed to happen. So. Yeah, so be careful when if you're buying KOs, the, you might have some quality control issues. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's still a good enough knockoff. There's a lot of details there. Uh, there's a lot of things that still, you know, you can make it work, uh, which which is good about the KO version. If you can't afford the authentic one, it cost me a lot of money to get the authentic one. So if you can't afford him, this one might still be a valid um kind of uh, replacement so articulation wise obviously this guy is going to be you know very flimsy not the best and just a lot of rattly parts so not that sturdy whereas uh the authentic version i'm hoping is a lot better 
I usually don't articulate my action figures too much because I am I am a little bit worried because of the value that they have that I might ruin something. But yeah, this just feels so much smoother and very sturdy to be honest. So there's no movement when I'm just flicking it with the same amount of power. Uh, there's no floppy uh, legs or anything like that. So yeah, obviously articulation is going to be a lot better on the authentic version, but yeah. Uh, you might be able to change this guy's body out, swap it out for like a mix max body to have a little bit of better articulation, maybe fill out the suit better as well, but I haven't really tried it. Maybe worth giving it a shot. So I know I usually don't talk about the boxes, but something interesting that I wanted to point out here, uh, the authentic one as well as the KO ones both have, uh, the Mezco con exclusive logo. So yeah, that's not a telltale sign if that's what you're going by. Even the fake ones will have the uh, the con exclusive logo. So looking further at the boxes, both boxes are very identical to each other except for the obvious paint differences. So the authentic one has much vibrant, more distinguishable color. So you can see so much more detail here with the cracking of the cement and everything. Whereas this one, yeah, there's not as much detail. It's kind of lost in the uh bland coloring so on the back it's more of the same uh the authentic version has much uh sorry about the glare so the authentic version has much more vibrant colors and more details whereas the ko version you can see there's more washed out kind of look and you can't really tell more you, the, the details are lost in the washed outness of the images so for accessories you actually get the same amount of hands same amount of everything but uh just the differences being the color so we'll just look at two identical hands and how they might differ for both batman so if you look at the coloring there's a little bit of difference there i'm not seeing too much but yeah this one looks a little bit more dirty whereas this one looks more cleanly applied in terms of paint and yeah oh there's uh so there's some black going on inside on the ko one which doesn't look anywhere near as clean as the authentic one. So that's a telltale sign there. Yeah, other than that, from the top, they look pretty decent. I mean, the, the, the KO ones aren't that bad. All right, so next up, we've got Batman's uh, grenade gun that he uses against Superman. So let's have a closer look at those. So obviously, I've lost this part on the uh, KO one because it just didn't fit well. And so it probably just slid off. Uh, but this one is much more sturdy on the authentic one and it doesn't just slide off and this part is movable as well so that part here but it's so much more sturdier on the ko it just basically droops and flops around pretty uncontrollably which yeah i'm worried about breaking that as well um so that's the difference is the paint i think sorry i'll just get zoom into that the paint on the right looks more silvery more i guess uh, similar to the body, whereas on the left it's more grey, uh, which is pretty different. The material they used on the strap, yeah, that's that's less polished and looks worse in terms of finish. And this one just looks better. So uh, moving on, we've got the bat grapples and the tiny grenades. So let's have a look at the bat grapples first. So uh, here we have the authentic one on the left, which looks better in terms of painting and the the fake one on the right so they look pretty identical in terms of sculpt but yeah the painting is a little bit different yeah okay that's that's a lot more different here so there's a lot of details lost here but the one on the left just looks a little bit better in terms of quality and sturdiness i think they're both similar so if you if you can paint this up better that will be like a very good replacement uh in terms of the little grenades yeah it's gonna be hard to see Oh, no, actually, that's not that hard to see. So the one on the left has uh, a little bit better paint. The sculpt is the same. Yeah, not much different. The one on the left just has better paint. So next we have the grapple pieces, and they're pretty identical, I think. Uh, I'll try to get that focused. Yeah, not much different. It's just the paint is more silver here. This one looks more shiny silver. This is more a little bit more dull. Uh, the authentic one is dull. So all the authentics are on the left. And for the wired version, yeah, the, the wire, the string looks better on this one. It looks more thicker. Yeah, this one is, in terms of painting, that's more shiny. And the wire does look a little bit more thinner. So last but not least, Batman does have his kryptonite spears. So uh, these are the spears that come with the figures. So the one on the left is the authentic one. So the authentic one does have like a little bit of a curve to it. 
whereas the K01 is more straight. But yeah, in terms of painting, they're just a little bit different. Where uh, where the one on the right does look more spotty, more dirty, and the one on the left looks more, I guess, finished. Okay, there we go, yeah. So, all in all, I think if you're buying these figures just to get replacement uh, spears, this probably will work because they're both die cast. So, the material feels pretty similar. This one feels a little bit thinner, but and a little bit more crooked on, on this part here, but uh, comparable nonetheless. So, it would work as a good, like, replacement. So, finally, we're at the end of the video. So, I just wanted to take this time to tell you guys why I have three armored Batman and why two of them are KOs. So, the KO initially, this one, uh, I got this one, I think, a couple years ago. The reason I got him is because the authentic one for me back then was too expensive and I didn't really know how to track him down. eBay prices were like crazy. So, I thought uh, around 40, 50 Australian dollars, this one was worth my time. So that's why I bought him and for a really long time he has been my armored Batman stand-in in my Mezco collection. So it worked for that purpose uh, but then later on I figured that just the body, the scrawniness of the body, once I got the Mix Max uh, bodies in hand, I just felt like maybe I could do an update on this guy, uh, you know, just change the body up and then that's why I got this extra one so that I don't damage the original one that I already had. But then, yeah, at that time, something clicked in me and then I really had to get the authentic version. So I reached out to a few people on Facebook and one of them uh, were, were happy to sell this action figure. So uh, that's where that started off. And I did eventually get the authentic version, which I'm really happy with. And I have a authentic collection of all the BBS figures now. And I think also the Justice League figures for Mezco. So I'm really happy with that. So yeah, uh, so this figure was going to be like a paint kind of uh, thing where I try to match this paint with the authentic version and also change the body out to be like a bulkier body. So yeah, that's why I have three armored Batman. All right, so final thoughts on the KO Batman and if you should buy him or not and how he compares to the authentic one. I think uh, authentic one is always going to be like authentic. You know, there's just a lot more details, a lot more uh finish a lot more polish to this guy and the other two do not have the same polish but i think they're definitely still worth investing in they're 30 40 bucks and you can find them on aliexpress pretty easily so i think it's still definitely worth a pickup uh just simply because there's so much detail the armor pieces are actually die cast and if you want like a, a, a extra kryptonite spear for the authentic one to hold so yeah the the ko one definitely fills that void so there's a lot of uh, good details on the KO ones as well. And if you if you are a good painter and you can match the paints and maybe change the body into like a mix max body or maybe just another Batman body, maybe even the Justice League body. If you get the Justice League body and then swap out some parts, you should have something very close to the authentic Batman other than just the armor pieces, obviously. But, you know, that can be done. So I think this is definitely worth a buy, at least for me. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and comparison. If you like more videos, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be working on some more tutorial customs uh, in the future. Thank you for watching.